Hello BKT Phil, Mr Shaw here again and time for another science experiment. So you notice I've got my safety specs on, these ones here to protect my eyes. Now for this experiment I have two beakers here, one beaker here, second beaker here. I've got a dropping pipette and I've got some red food colouring. Okay, this is red food colouring. You can use any food colouring you like. Now, in both beakers, we've got water. However, I want you to see what happens when I put the food colouring into the water and to see if there's a difference. And if there is a difference, why is there a difference? So, I'm going to open my lid for food colouring. Be careful because this does stain everything. I'm going to squeeze my dropping pipette. I'm going to squeeze it and I'm going to suck up some lovely bright red food colouring. So, notice what happens. So I'm going to put some into this one. Four drops. One, two, three, four. So, let's see if there's a difference. Can you see a difference? Now if we look at this one here, you can see that all of the water has already gone red. But you can see in this one that the water is still clear in some places, but it's red in other places. Can you think why? And can you think if there's a difference between the water that I'm using. Have a think. Here's the answer. So this beaker here has got hot water. This beaker here had cold water. So the reason why that happens is the fact that food colouring travels in water in both of the cups. But it will travel at different speeds. So when the water is hot, like in this one here, when it's hot, the water molecules are moving much, much quicker and that makes the colour spread very, very quickly. In the cold water, the molecules are moving much, much slower, and so it takes a lot longer for the food colouring to spread. This is what we call diffusion. I hope you enjoyed the science lesson.